Hello and welcome to another awesome tutorial from Jaybird Tutorials. I'm Jared Salmon and today we're going to show you how to make a spree menu bar. So, to start with we, uh, we need to create a new HTML file um, and we get this. Uh, first of all we need to save it, so file save as. It's going to save it to my desktop as whoops, spree menu bar. Uh, oh, what sort of in there? Okay, I'll, not send, I'll just save it as spree menu. And um, now we can insert our spree menu bar. So we can insert spree, spree menu bar. I don't mind to be horizontal, but you could have it vertical. And there we go. Now if we save this again, we get this notice saying these assets have been added, these are all the things which make it work. And uh, if we go to my desktop, uh, they are there in the same directory. Okay, now this is our spring menu, if we have a look at that, press F12, it's there, it's our menu bar. Obviously not quite as good as what we want it now, it's pretty plain, it doesn't actually make sense, so first of all we'll fill in these. Um, I'm just going to do fruit and then mm, fruit dairy we best open too oh, there it goes meat and like this one veg okay now in the fruit what have we got we got apples Bananas and uh, lemons. Under meat, we've got nothing. Under dairy, we've got nothing. Um, oh no, under dairy, we do. Sorry, we've got dairy, we've got uh, milk. And under milk, we'll have green top and blue top. And then also under milk we'll have cheese, uh, dairy we'll have cheese. And we'll have everybody's favourite ice cream. Okay, if we go have a look at that now. Refresh it, so we've got fruit, apples, bananas, lemons, meat, dairy, milk, green top, blue top, cheese, ice cream, veg. Okay, so that's really our menu done. We can add more of these because this is basically just a big unordered list as you can see here one order list so um, you can add more lists, take out lists, things like that so for instance if we want another dairy product we'll just copy this list item and change it from ice cream to milkshakes and there we refresh that in the dairy we now have milkshakes down here see so yeah, easy as that so if we go to our CSS and now we can change many things in here, you can change the width you can um, add colours, so to change the colour we can um, add add background images, change font colours, change font sizes, change background colours, it's all really easy, you just have to go through this and have a look for background colours, change them and see what happens, so I don't know, for instance we'll change this one just because we can, I'm not sure what this one does, just green and we'll go refresh oh and that makes that green and that goes blue not the uh, prettiest of colours but you know what can you do? Um, that's about it for today, pretty simple tutorial um, make sure you go to www.tutorial.jbar.co.nz link in the sidebar for um, more awesome tutorials and make sure you subscribe and rate, thank you very much See you next time.